Hey, this is Nuno Betancourt of Extreme, and uh, I guess we're here today to talk about my gear. Um, first off, uh, this is the uh, guitar that I'm using on the tour we're doing right now. It's an N4. It's a Washburn N4 that I've been playing for 300 years now. And uh, this, one's, this one specifically is a little bit different for the tour because it's a carbon fiber fretboard. Um, it's a little bit of cheating, I guess. It's a little bit faster. Uh, it's a little bit of sacrifice ton tonally because it's not as fat as my usual uh, fretboards, but it's, it's got a nice little uh, feel to it and just different. So I thought I'd go, I thought I'd uh, spice things up a bit by using that. Other than that, the N4 is the N4. It's always been the same pickups, the Bill Lawrence pickups, one volume knob, switch over here to not get in the way. It always gets in the way because I play a lot of uh, rhythm right hand stuff and I always knobs that I usually placed on guitars are always in my way and drive me up a wall. And that's it, Floyd Rose, drop D tuner, and you can uh, slice and dice meatballs on it, because it's wood. There you go. Uh, guitar wise I use for backups on the tour, they're pretty much, one of them is an original N4 that came out early 90s, I use that, uh, not so much of a spare, but just for different, a fatter tone uh, for the porn graffiti stuff. Um, I think I have a white one with me as well. That's definitely a backup for both of them at this point. Uh, you know, I'm using a, a six string solid body six string that I'm using for, uh, for Midnight Express and More Than Words as an acoustic because they, for Midnight Express especially, it's a little bit faster and it's, uh, it's what I wrote Midnight on and what I recorded Midnight on. So I just wanted to use the same guitar. 12 string acoustic, Washburn. It's actually one of my favorite guitars. It's really nice. It's a big fat body and a sweet, sweet little tone for all the 12 string stuff, a whole hearted, obviously. And I think that's it for guitars that I have. Uh, the pedal board that, I, that, I'm, that I'm using, uh, I'm not much on effects anyway. So with Extreme, it's always been about, you know, real, uh, you know, uh, it's a min minimalistic approach. You know, uh, even though it's a multi effects unit, Really, I use four patches for, for probably 99% of the songs and it's just for like a, a playing one, a little bit of chorus on another one for all the choruses that I, hooks that I play on. And then a third patch is like a solo boost, more for the volume and delay, adding delay for the solos. The fourth one is always a flanger that I have on there to go to just for vibe when I feel like it. But that's basically, other than a few delay changes, that's, that's it. Uh, it's a boss octave. Octave pedal. Uh, I use it for a few songs. I don't know if we're doing anything uh, as of now that we're using songs like "Comfortably Dumb," stuff off the side. Of that. Certain songs I would use it for whatever the if the songs were written that way. Other than that, it's just a noise gate, and um, I think that's it. I was just kind of like I've never done a signature amp, and I was messing around with a friend in Australia, and uh, I I don't know shit about electronics, but he does, and we started messing with stuff, and it was more for fun, and then we a beat it to some other amps that I do like. I was like, wow, I'm really, uh, really enjoying this, you know, and um, so, you know, Randall works with Washburn and uh, under the same umbrella, so we decided to go for it, and then there it is, and aesthetically, I just wanted it to look like I wanted it to look, you know, what I always thought the coolest amp in the world would it look, you know, big master volume knob. Uh, the VU meter helps me see what's going on with the amp, where the sweet spot is, where I like it, volume-wise, where it sounds the best, and when it, if something goes wrong with the tube, it kind of like, diminishes that output as well. So I know when something's up with it. It's so just, you know, like, like the guitar, it's just a workhorse amp. It's not nothing fancy. Um, I see you've got, yeah, independent channel EQ on it as well. Is that something that you Yeah, use clean well? channel, clean channel, and then just the, this, you know, obviously the distorted channel and then just a the boost for the solo. Yeah. I always used the rap pedal back in the day, but I actually put the, that's sort of what it did initially instead of having it as an outboard piece. It's kind of in the input of the ramp of the my amp now. It just tightens up the bottom end, something like that. But if I don't use the Randall and I use a Marshall or something, I always have to have the rat in front. It's always a quirky part of my, you know. Yeah, look, you know, I think shit gets in the way, you know, too much shit gets in the way. The majority, 90% of when you hear me play, there is nothing going on. I mean, really, it, it, even on the effects wise, it's a channel that's dead with a, no effects. And at the end of the day, it's in your fingers. All this stuff helps make get you through what you want to do but uh like i said i uh learned my lesson time ago plugging into eddie's rig and he asked me to play and i, I couldn't wait because i thought finally i was going to sound like 
one of my biggest influences and he was using his amp, his guitar, there's no excuse now. I was really disappointed when I plugged in because it sounded just like me. And I was like, aha, that's where it comes from. What a disappointment. <laughs> the dream was over, quickly. But that's it. That's uh, my rig and I'm sticking to it. You've been watching Total Guitar and um, rock and roll. Can I tell you? See ya. Peace.